Hello, welcome back to Hey Channel. I've got to say, what I adore about this channel is the variation we bring you. We cover a broad range of hobbies, and therefore, I'm so proud to say we're back with you, Giz. We're joined with John. John, welcome back, sir. Nice um, to see you, Charlie. Good to see you, too. I watched a bit of the show earlier, mm. and of course, I know you, Giz, very, very well. Uh, but this is more than just models, is that right? Yes, it is. We've, we've gone from very messy hour right. to very tidy hour. Yes, we have, haven't we? Because yeah. that's an, uh, no, you've just had an hour of getting your fingers all messy, which is, appeals to lots of people. Yeah. The thing about the models you've got here, no glue. Nothing to mess the place up. It right. all slots together exactly as the instructions show you how to do You're it. You're So this is precise engineering we've got here. Flat packs, right. you turn this into this. That's all in here? Yep, that's all in there, in okay. that box. Amazing. And this is one of the most popular models. We started with something that is, uh, I think, I think this epitomises you gears. Okay. Because the thing you've got to remember about Yugi is crowdfunded in 2015. Okay. Went for very few models to now well over 27, 28, 29 That's and growing. That's a lot, yeah. And the designs are hugely variable to appeal to all sorts of different people. You've got those people who are keen on motorbikes, who are keen on transport, on trains, through to models that are about windmills or even jewellery, which is what we've got here. Oh, fantastic. But never forget called U Gears for a reason, and U stands for Ukraine, right, okay. which is where the company is originated. Is that what it is? It's U, U is for that. Ukraine. Okay. And uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is with this, and you'll see it very beautifully in just a second, yeah. they're all driven by gears. There's an interlocking mechanism in every single one of these that either drives it forward, that powers it forward, or opens something, okay. or, or makes the whole movement work. I see, so it's all powered by gears inside, so there's no, there's no batteries, nope. nothing like this. No batteries, no paint, no glue, it's simply the model and the creation of that model that is the, the most important thing. So, now, I know this one was very, very popular earlier on, it's one of my favourites, it's the Treasure Box, saving £7, it's £34.99, 717468. Now, uh, I know you gears, they're becoming such a huge, huge brand. I've been given a you gears, it was a safe I've been given, I'm pretty sure my brother-in-law, he's definitely got you gears, I think it's a train, uh, but we're actually going to save it to build it in the same, uh, same system. So Do you know what I love around. about the safe, and I know we haven't got the safe to show, but very quickly, um, to, to boys and girls, right. it illustrates engineering so beautifully. It does, doesn't and it? And one of the things that the country lacks, we know this, yes. is we've got to get girls more interested in engineering, because if they get interested in engineering and they like go and that. do engineering, they can earn fortunes. Do you know what? Thing. We're missing 1,800 engineers every single year is in this country. 1,800 engineering places go missing. Right. We need to fill those places. We need more engineers. And you get people interested in it by building things like this. Sure, we're getting busy for this now. Again, okay. £34.99. Just briefly, what, what sort of age group would you recommend, John, for this? Listen, I mean, anybody can do this. I mean, if you're talking sort of 9, 10, 11, 12 year olds, I would say there are a couple of things, and we'll show you why. It's largely the spindles that are made with toothpicks and right, okay. um, but uh, or cocktail sticks. Um, but the, 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 the spindles are the hardest thing to push through, and that occasionally needs an adult to help you with. Okay. Because you need that fitting to be very tight. Um, that's the only reason why. Once you get past 12, 13, 14, I think, like most air fix, models you yes. know, that sort of thing you can pretty much build them on your own but two things to say immediately there we've mentioned one of the biggest model manufacturers in the world in the world yeah of course it's yeah. all plastic yes what are we trying to do right now get rid of plastic yes 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 and it requires glue and paint and no, none of that here nothing here uh, that's nothing it that's, that. exce that's exceptional well uh, now it's more than just a pretty box isn't it what does oh, it do a lot what, what does this do so this has a secret unlocking mechanism <laughs> Amazing. and look you know, we've got to we've got to make a pact here. You yes, and I. Okay, you know, it's right. just you and me, okay. and our viewer. So you're going to tell me the, the mechanism. Yeah, just here. just just the three of us. Okay. Keep on the download. That's it. <laughs> You mustn't share it. Our director's looking away. Which could be dangerous. Yeah, don't do that. What do you do? What do you mean looking away? I'm supposed to keep watching. <laughs> so you take the mechanism and you twist. Can right. you see the kaleidoscope effect you get immediately oh, on shaky. that? It, about a few layers down, we've even got bits down there moving. Yes, That's... exactly. It is multi-layered. And then in the top there, although you didn't know it, this is our key. We have to twist the key <laughs> to get it out. Okay. And that key then fits somewhere. And actually, you can see where it fits right there. So I'm going to open it for you and twist the top back into place, which is what it you really should opens. do. It understand. actually opens. We put the key in place, getting it in the right position like that, and then you twist. And the oh, whole you're mechanism. Joking me. Look at the gears down here. Like that. And that's what I mean when you talk about you gears. Yes. It is about the mechanism inside that is opening it. So they're aesthetically beautiful. They're very pleasing. 
but they're very highly intellectually put together. This is this is absolute precision. This is a lot of engineering work gone into this. Oh, well, this is it. The people who design these are spectacular. Aircraft engineers, stuff. people who really know their stuff, have sat down, designed this on a CAD CAM, a computer-aided design program. I know the one. And then put it together so that you can print it, laser cut, yes. onto these beautiful sheets of plywood. And the plywood is all sustainable. Let's go back to that fact. Okay. Our world is full of plastic. Yes, yes. Our world is full of plastic and stuff that we stare at on a screen. Yes. We're getting rid of both of those. We are, aren't We're we? We're going to wood that is sustainable. This is plywood. And you know where plywood comes from? Uh, the word plywood. It comes from no, plié, right. which is a French word, which means to fold. Oh, I didn't know this. So you fold things and they are stronger, OK? Well, OK. Uh, and when do you I have to talk in the accent as You well? do, for the rest oh, of the no. show now. I need to go now. <laughs> Ah, hello, je m'appelle. Uh, that's, that's it. That's Is that your O-level French? That's yeah. as far as it went. That's okay. great to see. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so when you take the wood, you, what you do is you bond it, and you bond it at 90 degrees to itself. So the first layer goes that way, right. the second layer goes that way, then the third layer goes like that. And because there's a cross weave like that, it makes it stronger, which is why plywood is one of the strongest woods Isn't you can get. What it is? They're thin layers and they're all from sustainable forests. And you then put them into these three layers, and when, and when there's the other thing, we're going to get you to actually make one a little okay. bit later on. Okay. Press the pieces out of the plywood, because you know what it's like when you're making models. You're always yeah. slightly worried that you might press something or, too hard and it breaks. Or it doesn't come out. It's as strange as it's taking off a pair of skinny jeans. It just doesn't come off. <laughs> it's just not coming off. I don't understand skinny jeans. No. Why, why, why would you? I look like a pair. <laughs> I, look, I look like a couple of bonds, John. I just don't wear skinny jeans for a reason. You, I've now got that image in my head, Charlie, and I'm going to have a it's hard time pleasant. getting that out. Yes. Especially if we're talking to French accent. Work. It's not anyway, pleasant. Back to the box, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. If you've now got that image in your head too, I'm very, very oh, sorry. shaky. But this is a, and the other thing I want to point out about this, can you see the corners of this are curved? We're talking about a flat back here. Yeah, of course, yeah. How do you make curved it? corners? Now, Joe, you know when we're preparing for the show, um, it's interesting, what, how did you put it? Because um, there's a weight to this. Listen, it's Christmas coming up. It is, yeah. I well, mean, how this. often, when, you do, when there's no one else around, you pop down to the Christmas tree the night before Christmas Eve and you yeah, pick the presents feel. up yeah, and yeah. go, I wonder what I've got. And there's an element of disappointment when you've got something that's just a little too light or just the wrong shape. Yeah. Now, these are square. So much easier to I wrap. I could even wrap that, John. So much easier to yeah. wrap. You know, and I know you probably have programmes on how to wrap really yes, awkward yeah, objects, yeah, yeah, don't yes, you? Yes, yeah. But this is simple. <laughs> even you and I can wrap this stuff. We're fine. But the weight of it, and there's what I call the weight of expectation. This is it. That's it, the weight of expectation. Can I use that one, please? You can. That's fantastic. You'll the have to pay me 10p every time you use it, but that's OK. That's fine, I'll keep I'll a lot. I'll send you the licence. Uh, but honestly, the, the, there's something about that. You know you're in for a tweet. You know you're in for something quality. I associate weight with quality. I really, really do. Yeah. Yes. And, and good value. Look at that price there. Saving £7. That's £34.99 for this kit. It's the treasure box. 717468. Now, let's take a look at this, because this is in a situation. So, this could be on uh, a chest of drawers in your guest bedroom. It's going to be intriguing. They're going to love doing this. It could be on your mantelpiece. This is something your son, your daughter can help you progress into a magnificent piece of engineering that actually just looks beautiful when it's not being used. It's one of our most popular items, and it's perhaps right. one of the simpler items to do as well. It's a great one to learn on. Um, and the thing about the U-Gears collection is once you've done one and you realise how simple it is to follow the instructions, yes. even if you're not an experienced model maker, you don't have to be here. If you are, you're going to love these yeah, and, love and, this, yeah. and the bigger ones as well, okay. because they will stretch you a little bit. But if you're not an experienced model maker, it's a great thing to start Start with. Good one to start with. Once yeah. again, yeah. no need for anything in terms of paints, batteries, or indeed uh, the, the um, Only adhesives, adhesives. Or glue. That was the word I was looking for. Thank you so much. That, glue. There's nothing of that. <laughs> you don't need anything. You don't need scissors or you don't need a little hacksaw so or anything. There are, there are two things that people advise you to use if you wish to. One is a, uh, a craft knife. Right. Sometimes to make sure, because occasionally you're splitting the cocktail sticks to create two spindles from one. Right. Which helps to have a craft knife, but you can snap them if you okay. wish. Uh, and the other thing is a candle, because when you're putting wood into right. a bearing and then expecting... Can the light on? I'm gonna say. <laughs> in case you want to do it in the dark. Or... It depends. I don't yeah. know how much money you have to pay your electricity oh, yes. bill these days, Charlie. <laughs> I know is it, the wages are not good. Um, but you use a candle to grease the bearing slightly, because <laughs> right. you've got wood against wood. And that's the thing to say about all the models we have here. When we've got them on demonstration, the ones we have for you on demonstration, of course, are brand new. Yes. So sometimes they're a little bit creaky, and once the wood begins to move against each you're other... You're like greasing it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to use either of those, but they are the suggestions.
suggestions and the instructions show you where you might use them. Right, so it all comes with instructions, of course, Steve. Again, I can't get over that. £34.99 is the treasure box. Now, we have got a lot on the show for so many enthusiasts, trains enthusiasts, uh, or you're a fan of the royal family, of course, well, uh, we've got lots to celebrate, all these different hobbies. So do shop ahead on our website, hochans.com. You're going to love what we've seen. Now, can I look at the train, John? Because this is just magnificent. Now, I'm right saying this is brand new to Yeah, this is a new one, a, a brand new product. We had one locomotive, and this is the second one, and this is uh, a 462 locomotive, if you like your locomotives. Right. And again, I'll bring you that back to the, it's flat packed, but the, the, the cover of the cab and the cover of the boiler is so beautifully machined, all laser cut, yeah. that allows you to curve it. Is that, uh, how is that, that's how? It's been laser cut away? Yep, it's been laser cut to allow you to curve it without any breakage on the wood whatsoever. Your, your, your curving plywood, which normally you'd have to perhaps soak it yeah. and, and then bond it round something and leave it like that till accepted the mould for a couple of days. No, right, it's been right. Beautifully cut. Here. I'm so pleased with plywood, not MDF. I mean, MDF, great, serves a purpose, but you, know, you can bang a corner quite easily on this too. I find plywood, like I said, it's very sturdy, so it's practical. It looks beautiful too. Oh, we've even got the etched names on the side of it. Yep. All detail, laser carved it? into it. And I'll show you a couple of details on this, because the detail on this yeah, is extraordinary. I'll show you the movement in a second. Okay. But I'm just going to pick it up and take you round to the back, because at the back here is our cab. And you get a very good view of that in there. We can open the door on the side. Yeah. Like that. And I don't know if you've ever driven a steam engine. Not you, recently, no. Well, no. That, you should try it. No. It's good fun. I tell you what, it's, it's damn hard work. I did it the other day. Oh, really? And, and I can't click on the, A, on the A1, I don't think there, can I, John? Not, no, no. you pre preferably need a railway line, yes, Charlie. I think so, I mean, yeah. The A1's not going to work. No, no. And at the back... <laughs> Where did you find this man? Definitely not on the North Circular. At yes. the back here, there is a little <laughs> mechanism that allows you to open the firebox, just like that. All done with gears. Okay, Can you see? My, my rather fat fingers are not allowing my... It's bits you're going to discover here once it's been made, as you're making it. Exactly. Uh, You've got, just on the side there, you can see in the corner, around this side, you can see there's the fireman's shovel. And you've got the two seats. Actually, seats in the cab of, a, uh, of something like this are a luxury. Right, okay. If you've ever driven a steam train, they have a little fold-out thing occasionally. You don't have time to sit down. Of course you don't. Shoveling the coal Absolutely, into the you're fuel working. to try yeah, and yeah. keep it going. Anyway, we'll close those up, uh, and then we'll bring you around to the top, because this is a mechanism that is driven. And you wind it up at the top here, all powered oh, by rubber bands. Again, no batteries. Thing. You wind it up at the top here. And it's then a we click have a of confidence I'm hearing there, John. It's, not, it's, it's got a solid position. Everything's just so precisely built and fits in. That's right. And at the side here, you have the mechanism that releases the brake. OK. okay. And this is going to spin quite fast. If I put it on the rails, it would slow down. But you'll see the mechanism go quite fast when okay. I move it forward. Oh, I see. Oh, I do move it. There we go. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those slightly sticky. Because again, it's a new model. It's a brand we, new one. We haven't actually spent much time I moving see. it around. But I'll wind it up a bit more for you. Uh, so it actually does go. What, what's the furthest length you think this goes? You're it's talking about, about five metres. It's not about the speed and it's not about the distance no. this will go. No. It's the fact that it is operational and it will move and it is all driven purely by the power of rubber bands. It's the fact using it the gears moves, as well. Isn't it? Yeah. Out of wood and elastic band. So here we go again. So one clever. More time. So clever. Just okay. so you can get a view of this, and I'll try and hold it so we don't actually interfere with the wheels. <laughs> Oh, you're there joking me. And now, obviously, if you're going to have it on the rails itself, it'll release that power much more what? slowly. But you can see all the gears going around yes. and driving the wheels. And not only that, driving the mechanism that keeps all the wheels driven at the same speed so as well. I, wanna, look at this. Look at all the gears. Layers upon layers of gears of engineering that's been poured into this. I mean, for £63.99. But you build it's it. It's such a good... You build you, it. You build, you build this. It. You don't just and take it and somebody else... It's all in a flat pack and you build flat. it yourself. Go to the corner uh, at, the, at the back, if we can, just for a second. Yeah. And, and you will see that there is a little mechanism here that allows you to attach the fuel tender. There you go. It's little things like that that have been designed into this that create such quality. Do you actually get the track as well? You get the track as well. All, all inside here? Yes, all in there. And this is the tender. Once again, I'll bring you uh, to the attention of the, the articulation of the wheels that you've got here. You could have put 
four holes in a framework, yeah. put a spindle through them, and made four sets of wheels. Yeah, you and could, instead, you you've articulated every single oh, one on. so that every wheel runs separately within the two chassis that you can see there. Uh, I the, the minds, but the brains behind this design. I don't know where they start. Oh, it does this. It's little things like this. It's a little mechanism. And again, I come down to this when you're teaching a kid yeah. how things work. Yes, you're you know, It's right. not magic. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it, electricity and, and screens that you can't see it working. Of course, you yeah. can see all of this working. You can see every element of it. And this can progress into a serious big hobby now. Model making is still a huge thing, of course. This is going to get you into it, but it's fun. It's mightily impressive. Put the video game controllers down, not looking at screens now. If you want to get your kids away from all that, this is fascinating. I'm absolutely blown away. So you get the tender, the actual train, and the track all in one, yep. in one box. Uh, £32 today. If you can stretch to that, it's on FlexiBuys, interest-free, 865942. Otherwise, one payment of £63.99. Blown away. Absolutely blown away about this. Now, they all tell their own story. We've got a windmill, by the way, believe it or not. Never thought I'd say that. We've got a windmill on our website, hochanta.com. That's already been busy. That's already been busy. Uh, shop in on the website. Don't wait for John and I to go down because there's a lot to talk about here. So go on to our website. Uh, right then. And uh, I know one or two of your coach. viewers w will have seen some of these before. Yes. There's three models here that are brand new to us and indeed, I think, pretty much to your Yeah, absolutely. Well. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the first one, the V locomotive, the V models that are high speed. Right. Uh, and then we're talking about the uh, the trimaran and the and the windmill and okay. we'll see those a bit later and the windmills are a new one it windmills. is absolutely and it, if it, now, no wonder that's causing attention yes it's oh, because yeah. it's new and if you're into these things you're going look i've built three or four of these already i need something new they're already there the new models are coming out and they're there now they're there now again they're ready to purchase on our website but bear in mind we've had one sellout already yep. today this is your last show today isn't it, it? Is. yes it's just your the last two. show of the day just the two so again get this while you can any questions for john Please email us. Someone who's so passionate about anything you gears, email us at studio at hochanda.com. We'll put a message on our Facebook page if that's easier. So, John, yeah. the royal carriage, sir, this is very elegant. The sort so of elegant. carriage that uh, members of the royal family are likely to travel in. This particular one set up as a sort of commemoration, celebration of a more recent royal wedding day. Yes. That happened a little earlier on I this year. I know the one. I know the one. Uh, and this is designed around that sort of look as well. Uh, so you have your four horses and you have this beautiful carriage. Uh, these carriages dated from Victorian times, of course. Uh, and what we've done here is created something that, again, with articulated doors oh, that allow you to get in and out. Uh, I think we've got two people in the side that you might recognise. Yes, Maybe I think so, yes. Harry and a Meghan. I'm just pulling yes, two yes, names so, yes. out of the ether. Or, if you prefer... Looking beautiful on their big day. You can... Uh, so apologies to Phil, he's upside down. But you oh, could, dear. You could have a Liz and a Phil if you wanted yes. instead, if you preferred that. <laughs> I, love, I love the hat. It's, they've even got facial expressions here. That is magnificent, what we've got. Well, luckily, they're smiling. Thank goodness. Which is a good thing. I mean, a bit worrying if they weren't, really, yeah. wouldn't it? Let's the honest. thing I want to point out here is two <laughs> things. The rear wheels here, to allow some traction, have got rubber bands around to allow a bit of friction when you're asking it to move, and I'll show you how it does that in a second. But take a look at the articulation of the suspension. You can see that it's articulated at the body of this, hangs from the chassis on these rubber bands at the front mm -hmm. and at the back. Oh, it's like suspension. Exactly. <laughs> it's a suspension. You want a smooth ride. I mean, the, if you ever hear from, uh, you ask any of the, the members of the royal family about travelling in, in yeah. these Landau's. I must call and ask them, actually. Yes. Well, yeah, have you got their numbers on <laughs> yeah, speed dial? Yeah, get them on the speed, yeah. But <laughs> if you ever heard them interviewed, I mean, they do tend to say yeah, yeah, that yeah. they're pretty uncomfortable because yeah. the suspension is I've not all this. it's cracked up to be. No. So these long journeys where they're waving sweetly, they've hopefully got nice soft cushions under I their royal so. bottoms. Yes, I think so. You're allowed yeah. to say royal bottom, you'll get thrown to the tower. I'm not sure. Well, we've said it now, haven't we? It's a bit late now. It's, it's a bit late there. now. Okay. It's gone. We'll, we'll edit that out. I oh, will I show am. you um, as well. Once again, we've got a, <laughs> a mechanism at the back here where it's wound up, and I wound this one up a little earlier on today. There we go. And then we take the brake off. Um, we may have to. Um, yes, I'm we've not sure how far space. we're going to go. With this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, I see. Not too far is the answer. Look at that. It's it's, it's a smooth ride. It's, it's a smooth probably ride. smoother than normal. So yeah. you wind it up at the back. This <laughs> is again uh, the power mechanism that is a rubber band. Yeah. There's a little yeah. brake at the back here that we take off, and then That's it moves amazing. forward. That's amazing. Yeah. Now I know I love just sort of the natural wood look, but if you wanted to gently paint some areas, all of our crafters out there, can can you? Do, oh, Trace actually asked if we can paint it. Good, Trace, good question. 
We don't want to affect with the mechanics, the moving parts, of course. But could you paint some Entirely bit? up to you to paint this if you wish to. Like stains, wood stains? Yeah. Yes, uh, I, mean, I have seen them painted. My personal preference is to keep the natural That's wood. That's my, oh yeah, I think so. But again, you know, model makers, the great thing about providing a basic model like this is it's open to interpretation right. and you can colour it any which way you can. And you I'd can... love to see some pictures. Wouldn't that be nice? I'd love to see some pictures of people who've made these and then coloured them as well. Absolutely. Email them through right now at studio at hochanta.com. We'd love to see that. So now this is the U-Gears Royal Carriage and it's saving £3. So it's great we've got this still at an introductory price. If you flip it on it might be tempted. It's a good opportunity. Save some money and get this home. It's £36.99. £945.454. Wonderful. Again, Christmas gifts. We cannot stress this enough. If you know someone who's a fan of the Royal Family, this is absolutely yeah, ideal. I mean, royal memorabilia, of course, we know is extremely collectible. Yes. Uh, there are very few bits of royal memorabilia that yeah. you make yourself. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, at this level. Yes. At this level of engineering. I'm blown away by that. I'm absolutely blown away. Right, now then, should we move on to this one? We've got another yes. train. We've got another train. Now, this is cool. The steam locomotive. No, I do recognise this one. Well, this was one of the original products uh, right. that we sh showed. Uh, and so the V the V Express that we have, uh, and we've just shown you earlier, is, is an upgrade, is that? A slightly more complicated, right. larger model. But if you want something again, I suspect this locomotive and the jewellery box are two of the good starter models. Yes, yeah. Uh, they lead you into it. And I know that, you know, you get addicted to them. Once you've done one, you want to make more because you understand you the process is so easy. Yes, yes. The level of detail on this one isn't quite the same but the process and the visibility of how it works is even better than in the V Express again if you want to see all the workings of it this sure. is a uh, a 460 uh, as opposed to a 462 is what we were right, looking okay. at before but again level of detail very similar you've got doors that open either side uh, one on that side and one on this side uh, and you also have a hatch at the top that allows you to see the working mechanism inside you can see the very thick selections or series of rubber bands oh, that are yeah. used to drive this. And you need it. It's quite a heavy little model. So if I show you what happens when you wind it up, and once again I'll create some room to let it move right. on here. And we get the track as well. You do? You get the track? That comes too? That's, that's, that sets it off. I think it's cool. So a bit of winding required at the back. And listen, even the sound, the clicking, everything just fits into place. You make this yourself. No glue. I mean, I don't know how that's possible. I mean, that is down to precise engineering that's what we got here in terms of the design work oh look at that look at the well, i think we're fascinated by moving parts how things work at various different ages you've got good insight into the possibilities here all these all those gears all those cogs it's beautiful i'll show you oh, one more time up. there we go okay it's so smooth, isn't it? It just it smoothly runs. So, uh, the, the fact that you can build something that has a smooth release like that as well. Yes, it's impressive. And this model, has been, we've, we've used this a few more times. You can see the more you use it, the more you let the bearings bed in, yeah. the more you uh, let the wheels and the cogs bed into one another, the smoother the mechanism. And so. we're saying, don't be intimidated by this at home. Uh, um, just to ask you again, John, if someone's never done model making before, the, you, you should be absolutely fine with this. Absolutely. The great thing, and we'll show, you, we'll show you the simplicity of the instructions. OK. okay. That's the thing that you really need to see, and I'll get you to start pressing out a few bits okay. and see how simple it is to create one, OK? Right. OK. Because we'll that'll it. give you a bit more confidence if you've never thought about this as well. The other thing I want to talk about, yeah. and I think this is really important, and this is what I love about Hachanda as a whole, you are dealing with creativity. Yes. Creativity is good for our souls. It, I think it's great. I personally you know, agree. I'm, think about the things that really annoy you. I, uh, skinny I, jeans, yeah. Skinny jeans, for a start. I, yeah. My calves never fit in them. No, what is that about? Uh, <laughs> the people who get off escalators at the bottom and stand going, oh, I wonder oh. where I'm going, and you cannon to the back of them. People stand Hello. like cash machines. There are other ways. people on the planet. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, things like that. Those are we need to carry us off in the pub, we talk, about, <laughs> we talk about grinding your gears, Oh, don't we? yes, yes. Yeah, you grind your gears. Yeah. Well, Yu Gi releases all that because <laughs> you're creating order, or, uh, order from chaos. Yes, I think so. You know, that's the thing. And when we do that. Mindfulness is a big I word. Like, I like doing the washing up. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit strange like that because I'm creating order from chaos. Yes, yes. And when you do that, the endorphins that are released inside you. 
I make know, you I feel happier. Yeah, make yeah. you feel better because you're creating you're things. Creating. Manual dexterity. Instead of just using I mean, one finger. We're not finger. doctors, comic claims, but, <laughs> but, but this is. I know a doctor. You know a doctor. Does that yeah. help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lovely Lenny Henry joke I heard the other day because he's a doctor of philosophy. Right. He said, I've now got the right to go up to somebody who's, who's lying on the floor in, in a street and go, tell me, is your life worth living or not? <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, never mind. It's just me. Uh, but when you're just doing things with your fingers on screens like that, or you're doing that, there's nothing to it. There's no creativity involved there. With right. this, there is. This is about building stuff. This is about creating something from nothing, pretty much. From a flat piece of board. It is, isn't it? And that is so deeply satisfying. Again, from this to that, that's going to be very rewarding for, for £64.99, six six eight eight three four. Great value for money. Joel, we've got demonstrations, we've got more to look at, but let's see what else we can be making live here with Hochanda on you guys. Check this out. It's exciting, isn't it? So many different designs. Have a look on the website, Hachanza.com. Now, uh, also brand new, John, this, honestly, this is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful that we've got. This is striking design. Where, where would you place this in your house? Is it chest of drawers? Would it be, I don't know, in a guest uh, bedroom? Where would you put it? Display this? cabinet, isn't it? It's something it's really be. exotic. It has. Yeah. Uh, and particularly if you're something, if you're into sailing boats, you'll know that a trimaran is one of the fastest. Uh, is that what it is, a trimaran? It's a trimaran, yeah. Oh, you've right. got three hulls there, that's why. Is that um, right? And I think it's a sort of cross between an America's Cup boat and Pirates uh, of the Caribbean, don't yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. You've got a slightly skeletal look to the hull underneath. Uh, and I really do think it's a, a spectacular piece, this. And this is probably venturing into the more capable model maker. Right. Or the person who's made a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh models before now. Yes, OK. And, and they come up to something like this because we've got all the rigging that works. Uh, we've got little things from the back here. Um, which allow you to turn the rudder if you turn uh, the tiller. Yeah, right. So they twist those from left to right, you see. Okay, if you know an adventurer, someone who just loves uh, travelling, generally speaking. Yes. That's uh, lovely. Or alternatively, here you've got the, uh, the boat, the life, life raft, the life, life dinghy boat. that releases. Oh, come on. This is great. But inside, the detail we've got here is just magnificent. I even just like, you know, the, like, the decking, you even see like the planks of wood has been yes. just uh, ever so gently etched in. Again, all done with laser. It's laser printed, laser cut. So the precision on it is incredibly detailed. And, and the beat guys you've got working on these, we've got aircraft engineers. I'm pretty certain we'd have uh, yacht engineers as well who yeah, yeah. are going to create something like this. Because you've got to know your stuff. You've got to know exactly how the jib works. You've got to know how the mechanism works to lower the sails, yep. to wind the foresail up and so on. This is from enthusiasts, clearly, isn't it? And you can see very clearly there, just as, a, as we got a close-up of it, the little seahorse on the front. I didn't notice Did you spot that? that? Yeah. Is Those it, little tiny details are the ones that I absolutely love. Every time you're looking back at it, you're going to notice something more. There's so much to observe. By the way, I've observed the price. It's £18 today. £18 today. That's your first flex by payment of two if you're a Freedom member. No postage and packaging either, I might add. It's 966059. Now, is it a silly question? Because it's not about how long does it take. There is but no silly question in the world, Charlie. Not even the ones you asked. Oh, I've asked you several already. Uh, how long would that take, though, roughly, do you think? OK, so when talking about the jewellery box where we started and we're progressing up here, the jewellery box is probably around five hours, five to six hours. OK. This, you're probably looking at at least 12, 13, maybe. It's quicker than I thought. 
all, actually. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, again, you know, some of these things, if you are good at it, you don't want it to be over too uh, Well, this fast. is it. You want to enjoy it. It's mindfulness we're talking about here. It's enjoying the process. Uh, again, £39.99, but again, if you can stretch to £18 today, if you're a Freedom member, that's all you purchase for, push it for right now. Uh, 966-059. Two ways you can buy a Ho Chanda. If you never watched this before, you've just clicked on, very warm welcome. Give a call centre ring. They're just upstairs. It's 01733 It's the national weight. Or give us a, uh, a add it to your basket on hochanda.com. It's a secure website. And you can watch us live in HD whilst you're ordering too. Now, um, should have worn better makeup if it's in HD. I know, though, right? I, should, I, should, I know, I know. Yeah? I know. Okay. Sorry, so I should have ironed it properly. Uh, what will we have? Now then, um, this is just impressive. This, uh, where do you start do you with know a model what? like this? This is why I love the U Gears range, because we're not just sitting there going, train, bike, car, another train. Mm. Oh, we could talk for hours about this. This is about a range of products that appeals to all sorts of different people. And this yes. is, well, this is Don Quixote-esque. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Don Quixote-esque with a Sancho Panza thrown in. I like it. And, and the mechanism <laughs> of the windmill here is driven by winding the base. Yeah, yeah. That allows the top mechanism to work and propel the sails round. So it does actually move around. Yeah, oh, that's this is amazing, the, the whole it? purpose. This is, unfortunately, in this instance, a, a, not a working model that I can show you in full. No. Uh, but the full working model is included in the box, well, and if you are something of an expert model maker, you will love this because it tests your powers of creation a little harder than some of the ones we've already seen. And it's nice to have the surprise of how exactly does it move. You're going to yeah. experience that once it's been finished. Uh, we're busy on the phone lines, don't forget. Again, it's 01733 Do call us. There might be a small queue there. We will get to you, but this is the last show with you, Giz and John, today. Uh, Adam, to your basket. Keep the questions coming in for John, too. Anything at all about you, Giz, it's a studio at hochanda.com. But even the sales is just a magnificent draw now and uh, where, where do you start I mean it gives you is it like, like quality instruction number one absolutely absolutely right from the beginning and, and we will show you that we'll show you that if you're an inexperienced model maker yeah you've got these beautiful instructions that show you exactly where each part is on each board right they're labeled with a number one through till uh, however many however parts many, it may yeah. be, 200 parts uh, and then you get supplied with that the rubber bands okay and the cocktail sticks, and the cocktail sticks are the spindles, I the see. chassis, the axles around which many of the cogs will Do then move around, ro yeah. rotate. Yes, absolutely. That's amazing. Uh, there we go. Um, add it to your basket. Check out thirty-two pounds a day on Flexibike. Now, um, if you think what I'm thinking, I can't stress enough. Christmas presents, well, they're easy to wrap. Huh? There's a lovely weight to them as well. It feels it gives a sense of value for me personally. But uh, if you are thinking about stocking up. Whatever's in your basket, if it totals £60 or more, it qualifies for Flexi Order. Here's our Leonie to tell you all about it. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. So there you go. Again, whatever's in your basket, doesn't matter if it's £60 or more. Stagger the cost, interest-free if it helps. Get these deals home. Don't miss out on them. Now, we've had a sellout already. Uh, the treasure box, honestly, I'd be surprised, personally, if this wasn't the next one to go. It's very popular with our viewers. Why do you think that is, then, John? What is it about the treasure box? I think you get a couple of things built in there, and you not only get the beauty of the gears, but a, a, an object that you can actually use as well. Yeah, it's practical, isn't it's it? It's yeah. practical and unusual, and it's also... We like a puzzle. Yes. We like something to... We like knowing something that nobody else knows, and once you know the mechanism and the trick to opening this yeah. thing... Yeah. Because your friends won't know it, and we know. We kept the secret, didn't we? You, me, we and, didn't know. and... Can we do it again briefly? Viewer. Do you mind? Absolutely. For those who just joined us, because this is, this is amazing. But you mustn't tell anyone. Pinky yeah. promise. <laughs> yes. You've got to make sure you don't, you don't share this, OK? So we'll take the box, <laughs> and the simplest thing you do there is then, with this kaleidoscope effect, open it up, take the key, 
twist to release it's and then find the right place to put the key, which is in the front here. A lot of people in the studio now watching us in amazement of the detail. Didn't you, Hayley? Uh, this is incredible. We, they really should really get a life, but we're quite pleased that they're watching. We, we are. We're, we're thrilled. Thanks, guys. But, um, and then you open it up like that by twisting. I mean, come on. Uh, Jewellery keepsakes and that oh now you're now you're buying it you're liking it now again 34 pounds 99 it, it may go this i don't know I've, I've got a feeling personally it's going to be the next one to go so 77 pounds 717468 but you can't release the key unless you know how to do it i mean you can't put the key back in there now without knowing that you have to twist to release it again this kaleidoscope mechanism and you then place the key back in and then you twist to lock and you then close it up and you can hold it by the key then because oh, the key is firmly held. And actually, if you were to look at it, you go, well, where is the key? I haven't got a clue. I've got yeah. no idea you where You wouldn't it have fits. thought that was it, actually. But it, get, the, it goes like a few layers down. The parts are still moving, and there's no glue. So, go on, can we open the box? We can. Let's have a look at it. Right, uh, honestly, this is amazing. So this is how it comes. Right. And let's just slide this open. Oh, I see. It's in sheets. And it is in plywood sheets. Instructions are on the back. So I will just open this up for you. It's beautifully packaged. Beautifully packaged. I'm one of those people who watches uh, videos on the internet about how... Uh, uh, unboxing videos. Love yes, it. they do, don't they? Oh, yeah, I've I, never understood those. No, I'm one of those no, people... No, no, Charlie, now explain to no, me what, I don't what's know what the it is. beauty of those. Because it's... Um, if, because I'm, I'm about to experience that. I can't wait. It's like watching the end of a film first or reading <laughs> the end of a book. I have to see it. But look... I oh, know, because that used to be. Look how beautiful these are. <laughs> These are Please. works of art in themselves. Aren't they? Oh, you're joking. It's a good, wet, it's good, it's good thick plywood, actually, isn't it? As well? Yes, it's proper plywood, and it's, and, and it's, it's uh, three sections, you can three see. Three sections, uh, An inner and an outer. And again, that cross ply set yeah, up yeah. so that it's nice and strong. I like now, that. the first thing I want you to do, I want you to press a piece out. I'm going to show you the instructions first okay. off, and we can turn through the basic setups. Here is page one of the instructions. And I think this is pretty simple myself. OK. So on the uh, right-hand side, no, left-hand side, my right-hand side, yep. the, the left-hand side of the page, you have the board that you're supposed to be choosing it from. OK. And highlighted on that to make sure you get the right piece yeah, yeah. are the pieces that you're going to press out. And we're looking for piece one at this point. OK. So and that's all there is to it. I'll give you a little hand, because I suspect that is, is it going this to be one? piece Thank one. There it is, yeah, piece yeah. one. So... Uh, the two little pieces are pieces one, two, oh, three, four. I've got it out already. There you go. It? You see? So you're going to get those, piece one. OK. You find piece two? I can. Yeah. I've got two piece twos. How easy is that? That, honestly, that is... That's mightily impressive. Do you know what I was thinking? Are you going to get little pips you're going to have to sand down or anything? No? Nope. nope. Nothing like that. That's the beauty of laser How cutting. How do they do this? That's because it's laser cut. A very fine laser at that. Oh, it yes. has to be. OK. And you want three as well? I do. I want three. One, two, and three, and there are two okay. number twos, yeah? Yeah, I've got that. They're OK, not. and then we need the big bit, which is four. Four. Can you uh, find piece four? Oh, this huge How difficult was it to find piece four, Charlie? Uh, it, was, it was fairly easy, actually, John, I've got to say. It's right here. <laughs> it's right there. Exactly. And as you're pressing it out, did it feel at any point that you might snap the piece that you're pressing out? No, I was a bit hesitant at first for the exactly. first piece. Because I'm not used to this. Yeah, yeah. I'm not used to it. No, it's... They're solid pieces. It's solid okay. plywood. And you're going to slot here. those in so you make sure you get it the right way around. Which oh, this is if, clever. If I hold it the right way around for you. So let's clear these go. out of the way. So I love building flat pack furniture you now. I've got to say, those instructions are fantastic. Yeah. So uh, the first piece you've got there, yes, I'm ha having to hold it the right way around. So you're going to use those oh, four little those, holes there. there. So it's yeah. That yeah. And I've got it wrong already, I? Oh, no, no, so it's you, fine. You've, you've got to put these two together first. You're right. I'm okay. jumping ahead. One I'm and two ahead. together first. All right. Okay. Here we go. Right. And it going? shows you, little blue arrow, gives you the direction, you slot two into one. Yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. Good. Well done. Do you know what, it's, that's a snug fit. Yeah. That's a snug fit. Now here's the rule, here's the rule for building anything with U-gears. Right. If you're shoving it in and it doesn't go, do it. it's the wrong piece. Yeah. You're doing it wrong. Right, now yeah. look at that. That, John, is solid. That's, yeah. I now understand, after just doing that, that's why you don't need glue. Yeah. I, I, that's, I understand now. I understand. It's not going to come apart. And that we do have a guarantee that if you break a piece, right. then all you've got to do is let us know. We well, have a job. And we, we will send you another piece out so that you can make sure you can build a model. That's amazing. Okay. okay. That so is our guarantee. 
There we are. I'm going to put yep. this, and I think I'm right. You in are doing exactly that. in the right place. One sec. There we go. Let me push it in there. Yeah. Oh, do you, you can hear that slot in. And you, if I put it in the wrong place, I can actually wiggle that out if I wanted to. And there we go. But if it doesn't go, it's the wrong. It's the wrong place. piece. Yeah, you're exactly. Doing it the wrong way. So you're going to go have, back. To look at the instructions again. Oh, that's, oh, do you know? What? I just want to carry on. You just did. You just did all of that. I just want to carry. And there we go. So we've, we've done the first steps. Yeah. Oh, this is good fun, isn't it? You, yeah, absolutely. Now, if I can do it, your pet can probably do it. Seriously. <laughs> uh, saving £7, £34.99, 717 I'm giving it to my stick insect when I get home, see what it does. Yeah, but you got a stick insect? No. Uh, I was say, <laughs> but that would be impressive if you did. Uh, there we go. I just <laughs> like the idea of anyone's pet. Anyone's, anyone's pet. pet. Stick insect, ladybird, yeah. the lot. They anyone, can do this. Anyone, yeah. Uh, £34.99 again. That's a great deal. Um, so... Do you want to do a bit more? Go on, then. You've got you've got the you've got the taste for this now, haven't you? Have. All right. So now I've you're going to be looking it, for parts eight, nine, and ten, and the tens are very little. Now you're pressing out a really complicated piece, which is part nine. Yeah. 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 How's that feeling? Well, it's fine. Just describe it's just it to me. Oh well, it's just there. It, it's it's. I feel it's got that click of confidence. Really, it just pushes out easily. It's not sort of bending. Going ooh, bending is about. Oh, that's about to snap. None of that. It's just solidly drops out. That's the strength of the plywood, which yeah. doesn't break, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the strength as well of the precision laser cutting. That's it. Okay. Uh, uh, you're just going for this now, you're not even waiting for me. No, nah, John, I'm, I'm flying through now. So that's part eight, part nine, okay. and look at the parts for ten. Right, okay. Which are quite small, aren't they? The little bits, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Got them? Uh, so you don't want 10A, 10 10 you want it? ten. These little bits and these are here. tiny, so see how easy it is to press these out. Okay. Oh, I've got the whole thing yeah, out. Yeah, take here. the whole thing out. There we go, there we go. And then just press uh, one of them out. There we go. Yeah, right. You've got to use your, your, your bit of a thumbnail there will help. There we go, there we go. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Nurturing it out, nurturing it out. Yeah, right. you, can, you can do this, Charlie. I should, I should have had, I should have had, I should have kept my nails, shouldn't I? <laughs> do you yeah, want me to help you? Uh, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> yeah, you've just got to be firm with it, make sure you Aye. push it out like that. See, yeah. I'm used to things being very fragile when it comes to models and things. Aye. This is This is the thing. Quick push with your thumbnail like that. Right. You'll hear it snap out. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look and there at you that. come. Easy. And I'll do That's the third easy. one for you because I'm nice like that. Thank you, John. Uh, so, all right, so what we need to do, so I'm, I'm at, so I've already done three parts. I'm flying ahead. Flying you ahead. Are. So, again, following the blue arrows, you take part nine and you press it against part eight, yeah. like that, aligning the holes up, and you use these parts ten as the pegs, one, two, and three. So there, there, and there. Yeah. To make sure it's aligned and set up. Even because I instantly thought, well, which way around do I have the peg? And it's so easy identifying, easy to identify which way up they go. Uh, I know instantly it's there. That I've got to say is very straightforward. Uh, you know what? You're absolutely loving this one. Don't forget, this is a very, very popular one. We've had one sell out already. Uh, that was the that was the bike, wasn't it? Yes, it was the motorbike. The motorbike is one of the simpler ones to begin with. Yeah, uh, and uh, it's a good way of dipping your toe into this idea. Because if you haven't made models before, there's no reason why you shouldn't start with this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, as we say, nothing needed other than these. Now, you're going to have to push those home. You've, you've half pushed them home. Oh, have I? Because you need to secure that piece. So yeah. you really just need a bit more pressure behind it. OK, Hang okay. on, I've got to line one of these up first. If I line one of them up... And this is the thing, you up. can't... You can go through this. This is what I'm learning now. So that, uh, you know... You don't want to throw it around, but uh, but I can, you can you can put some pressure into it. It's impressive. What have you done with this here, Charlie? Oh, sorry, have I waggled it in the wrong way? Yeah, I'm just checking that you're going to put it in the right place because okay. at the moment you have to make sure that both of them go in the right way. Okay. 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 There we go. Let's uh, see. There we go. Get a little bit through at the bottom. Get a little bit through. And you can get it in the right place. And you line it up. Yeah. And again, we reckon what. Ages, what, 13 years and upwards? Yeah, something like that. A give or take, give or take, OK. So we've already done the first four part, well, first three parts, and it, it, it breaks it down into bite-sized pieces, so to go. speak, with this. You've got to push it home firmly. Trying to push it a bit harder. Because, yeah, you've just got to be a little more firm, firm with it, like that. OK, yeah? OK. like it. Uh, there we go. And there we go. That's, a, that's a part four, now done. It's easy to identify and think, well, how on earth do you find the right pieces? On the page, it shows you a full picture of which sheet you are looking for. And again, it's quality plywood as well. Now, if you wanted to sort of, I don't know, gently add some paints and things, you can do for certain components yeah, if you wanted to. But I think you're like me. I think you like the actual, just the wood I prefer effect. the natural wood. I think that's yeah. a nicer thing. 
There we go. So that's all those three pieces secured. Yeah. A little bit of pressure is required. You've got to use your thumbs to press in. But again, you've got to be, do it so it's secure because there is no glue involved here. No, no. And you hold that in place with those pegs. Well, what would you are that that or oh, it's sort of going in and out, it's not really gripping anything. Well, and, and, and yeah, then not just... only that, you know, if you're using glue, then you've got to sit there and hold it, wait it's for it mess. to dry oh, and boy, so on. Boy. Yeah. But you can, yeah, you haven't, there's no dry time, there's no waiting. You can, you can sit down on one sitting if you can. I mean, you'd be tired. Uh, now, 60% of the stock has gone. Look at the way it moves. It's actually a practical box as well. The key's in the top, you put it in the side, you wind it, the gears, the work of the engineering, it just displays the whole lid, it raises it up. Right, again, £77, 717464. But you can see here, look at those working parts, it's all the gears. Now, the corners you're looking at, how we've got a piece here to show you how flexible the actual corners are. Now, this is precise engineering in itself. But again, um, for £34.99, 717468. Any questions for John, please do email us studio at hochandler.com. Now, we're impressed by the gears, all those different layers of moving parts. These are moving models. That in itself, John, is a clever piece of engineering. It's that a has. wonderful piece of engineering, isn't that? And so that's that just a solid piece of plywood with the laser cutting done, and this is how it comes. So you can bend it and you can turn it into a corner like that. Isn't that fabulous? How does that happen? Can I have a look? Is it, how is that? How is that? I don't, I don't understand you. You're it. bending wood. I'm, I am bending wood, aren't mm -hmm. I? Not spoons, but, but that, that, honestly, is beautiful and it's still so smooth. And the same effect is achieved with this locomotive as well when we cover the boiler and we cover the cab. Right, um, again, if you'd like to go for the treasure box, do be quick. Again, £34.99. This is only the second show and the second and final show. We had a big stock on this, but 60% of it's already gone. I would be fast, I would be fast. Now then, go on, the steam train. Mm -hmm. Where do you start with explaining this? It's, there's so much. The level of complexity of this is so beautiful and so exquisitely designed. Come back to this idea of getting people involved, particularly kids, involved in some idea of how things work. There is no better way of doing it yeah. than actually putting the gears together and going... And there's a lot of realisations, a lot of light bulb moments. Yes, yes. Because when you're starting with something like that, we, you know, the bit we put together over here, yep. jewellery box, well, I mean, jewellery box, I'm sorry, I'm, you know, and then as you build, then as you create, yes, yes. you then go, oh, I get, that's that bit now, oh, and that's where that cog goes, oh, that makes it much that, that more makes sensible. Sense. Yeah, yeah, and then it's only just, you visualise sections then, don't you, I suppose. What's it like putting the last piece in, or the last section? Do you know what, it's quite sad, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you've been building this thing and, it, yeah. and it's kind of, and now it's over. The journey's gone. Yeah. yeah. There's an exploration of it as you're following such beautiful detailed instructions where it's really hard to go wrong. Yeah. Because if you put the wrong piece in and it doesn't fit, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Go and look at the instructions and they'll go, oh yeah, I've got it the wrong way around or yeah. uh, that bit is, is in piece, a different yeah. hole. Uh, there's, a, there's a sense of achievement, yeah. but there is also a sense of sadness. And I know it's why you Gears customers come back time after time and go, I built that, I want to do something I'm, else, I want to do something more I complicated. I don't know what to do with myself now, I want another one. Yeah, yeah, take it up a level. But like I said, I've been given one of these, and my brother-in-law has also been given one of these, all by <laughs> you, Gears. I thought, oh, I've got one of those. Now, I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't built it yet because we're waiting. I want to wait until he's free. We're going we're to start it, we're going to start it together. It's going yeah. very well. It's, and it's, it's a sociable hobby, you can do this on your own. It's completely what you make of it, but for £32 today for the steam train with the tender, oh, uh, and the track. You want the track to spade on your mantelpiece. That's going to be really cool. Uh, that's Don't what you think? Today. Dad and daughter. Yes, perfect. Dad and daughter. Yeah. Dad and son, mother and son, whatever. You yeah. know, you can sit together and work parents, through it together. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a joint activity. It doesn't have to be a solo activity. No. There no. are lots of people who are solo model makers and enjoy the, the, the time spent over a simple creation, just learning their way through it. But you say it's a shared experience as well. Yeah. And let's go back to that idea of I'd those Christmas it is. presents. Oh, yeah, come on. When, you know, you're lifting up that box and you've got no idea what's in you've it. You've got no idea what's in this. And but if somebody said to you, there's a train, a working train in that box, you'd go, you're kidding me. Yeah, you're joking. And there's a track, and there's a tender. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, but that is, uh, it's that weight, because uh, I think, uh, I associate weight with value, which is why I put on a stone. But, uh, but seriously, but I, I honestly, I honestly th I, when I'm feeling that, I think, what on earth is this? What earth is inside it? It's anticipation, it's the suspense of opening the presents, and uh, 
you just know, actually, I just think they're very well pack packaged. It's the branding, it's everything. It just screams and quality. And I'm going to come back to that fact. No plastic. Yes. This is wood from uh, forests that, that are uh, uh, farmed so that they are replaced consistently. Yes. They are properly farmed. This is responsible forestry. Uh, this is where the wood comes from. We're losing the plastic. We're trying to get rid of plastic from our world. Mm. There is no battery. There is no glue. There is no paint required. You simply sit down and create it. If you, you wish to... Together. If you wish to, you can use a craft knife and a candle to use a little bit of lubrication of yes. the wax on the bearings, but that's it. And you don't have to you use those. You don't have those. to do that, no, no. I've got to say, because uh, it's going to get attention from your family, friends, your the halves, your loved ones. They're going to be intrigued by this, firstly, because of the detail. And the fact you can say, well, there's no glue in this. No, I didn't use it. I just put the pieces together. Yeah. That, they, it's a talking point. It's exciting. Guests come around for dinner parties. They're going to love it. Right, £32 a day. Again, it's at 865-942. It's brand new to us here at Ho Chanda. Uh, but we've also got something else which I think you're really, really going to like. We've only got seven minutes left on this Hour, I've just realised. Where did that go, Charlie? It's, it's flown by. It flies by, John, as you know. Uh, right then, the Royal Carriage, sir. This is very yes. elegant. Exquisite design. Beautiful. So, this does still move as well. This does. They, they all move. All these models move. They're powered by elastic bands. Again, no batteries required. This is a, a, a really traditional form right, yeah. of entertainment, as it were, where there's so much around us that is electric. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's clever, isn't it? So that's the brake at the back, there? That's the brake, yes. Now, look, you've even got the facial expressions there, the detail. So it's not just laser cutting, it's laser etched details, what Correct. we're celebrating here. I'm blown away by this. So if you'd like to go for this one, it's the Royal Carriage, saving three pounds. We've still got these savings too, and uh, I find if I buy something at a good price, I tend to enjoy it that a little bit more. Again, it's 36 pounds 99 at 94554. Now, the next one we got, if you like that steam train, uh, we've got another train. A slightly smaller model, this one, then, John. Yes. I'm going to just illustrate right Before at the very front here. These little touches here okay. that we have to connect the whole thing up. So if we're connecting the tender, I'm just going to close the front because it's a little more easy to see. There we go. We have a little device here that releases. I'm not showing you the right angle. There we go. Okay. That's what you wanted to see. You can see it releases and allows you to put the coupling in like that. And then the two are, are attached. Again, little things. It's operated by a, a, a little cog right. that's attached to an elastic band that allows you to... You, know, you could have done it differently. You could you have could just had a hook and an eye and that's it. Yeah, you could have done that, yeah. But yeah. that's not how U-Gears goes about it. It's not U-Gears, no, it certainly isn't. That would be too straight, that would be too obvious. They want something a little bit more detailed, a little bit more fascinating. And again, the, if we wind this up, and I'll just show you all the cogs and gears moving on this one yeah. more time. This is the beauty now, of I don't this. know what they're called, because I'm not, I don't even know my trains, but these little bits, you know, they just jig around. Look, keep look at all the cogs inside. You mean the piston shafts? That, that, that's exactly what I was going to yeah. say, the piston shafts. Yes. <laughs> the, you know, the bendy bits, the bendy bits. Yeah. There we go. That's it. That's amazing. So many moving parts, and you put that together with no glue, nothing whatsoever. There's not a single bit of glue in there, and that's, you know, astounding, I understand really. Now. I understand, because the bit, literally, we've just started yes. that treasure box, it just fits in, it's got, um, it's got a proper place. Everything has a proper, secure place inside it. £64.99, 668 834 on FlexiBuy as well. By the way, if your basket is £60 or more, if you get a number of these kits, then don't worry, you can stagger the cost of your entire basket interest-free. So if you're thinking Christmas presents, they're great. I mean, I've been given one, and uh, my brother-in-law has been given one as a gift. And so uh, that's just someone that I know. This is how big this is becoming now, and at these prices, I've got to say, it's a good, it's a good See, deal. See, I really like the idea of giving Christmas pasts for Christmas presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, this is traditional. Yeah. This is the sort of stuff Christmas past, we like had yeah. when we were growing up. We were growing up with stuff that was mechanical, yeah. the stuff that was a traditional. I'm just going to use traditional, yeah, because that's what Christmas is all about yeah. for me. It sums up the I essence of Christmas. I absolutely agree. Tradition, tradition. You know, forget your apps, forget staring into a screen aimlessly, yeah, yeah. forget, you know, moving things around with your fingers. Controllers and things. But you can start this on Boxing Day with the family. You can yes. get this out and make a start on it. Because yeah. there's, uh, there's always that time, maybe after Christmas lunch, on Boxing Day, you've got family and friends around. Come on, let's get that U Gears model out. Let's, let's make a start on this. It could be a family, uh, a family occasion. Now, £39.99, you're loving this boat. And it's a, tr a trimmer, trimmer, trimmer. Trimaran. Trimaran, trimaran. I like it.
Yeah. Okay. And I think, you know, we know there's some of the fastest boats out there. Uh, catamarans and trimarans That's are the ones know, that yeah. you spend your time uh, watching when uh, they're out there. And they, they get them to raise out the water, don't they? Some of yes, them are yeah. literally flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw some footage, they ran a, a drone actually underneath the boat. You're joking. In between the waves and the underside of the boat. They actually flew it through underneath. Wow, wow. Because these things that. are raised out of the water so high. And it's dramatic as well. Even if you've never been on one, you may have seen one and thought, that just looks cool. That may be where you're at. You may be a passionate sailor. You may know someone who's son or daughter who's getting into this wonderful hobby. Maybe someone who just loves travelling. But it's the detail, John. Uh, even the little lifeboat, look. Look at that little lifeboat. That it moves. Um, so, okay, where do you start with this, then? It's all numbered. Start at point number one. And they're easy to identify. They're gorgeous. And that, that affects the rudder, does it? Yes, so you've got a tiller that actually, or a wheel, a proper wheel to adjust uh, the rudders on either side. Right. And you can release the dinghy. Um, it comes okay. out like that. It's little tiny yeah, points. Like and, and all of these uh, areas where you've got these uh, uh, um, uh, cogs or, or wheels yeah, that, yeah. Are, that are secure cogs. I'm not a sailor, so I don't know what they no, are. No, I don't know. But you've seen the guys on there, on the winches. I know. Doing They're that. doing this, aren't they? And, and these I've seen all the move. films, see the pirate films. And it was, yeah. I think if you know kids who the love The winches those. all work, they'll raise the sails, they will lower the sails, they'll bake the top sail, and the spinnaker come in and out, and so on. Yeah. It's, a, it, it's such an accurate model, this one. And for that reason, you need it, therefore, to be uh, perhaps a little more experienced because okay. this is about the threading of the rigging, the threading of all the lines that allow you to operate everything from the rudders right the way through to uh, uh, getting the, the, the jib to move from one side to the other or lowering the sails and so yeah. on. I'd want this on a cabinet, on a, in a glass cabinet. You'd be very proud of it once you've you made it. You would be proud yeah. of it, you are. Can you spot the seahorse, by the way? Can you spot the seahorse? It's right on the front. I mean, I don't know the actual name because I'm not... I'm not uh, there we go. That is really cool. I love the detail. £39.99, 966-059. Again, it's on Flexibike. You can now, tell the people who make them have fun with them. Yes, you can. That's the thing about it. It's when you're possible. making them, when you're designing them. Yeah. You know, somebody's gone, oh, I'm going to put a seahorse on the front of that. Yes, you can. There's, a, there's, there's charming elements to this, aren't there? Lovely. Yeah, absolutely. Now, just briefly, because we're, well, we're nearly out of time, we've got a minute on the show. Uh, we've got, what is it about this one then, John? What is it about the windmill? The, the windmill is an extremely complex operation. Not only is it designed with uh, a rotating uh, centre uh, and uh, that allows you to wind everything up, uh, but also the centre of that is, is, uh, has a cantilever on it that means that it moves upwards at, a, at an angle. Right. So you can see that everything thing here is is angled from the bottom to the top that's quite an awkward thing to design into the mechanism itself right i so wish i could show you this i do apologize that i can't no, that's okay. uh, but in traveling this has not managed to last the the, the voyage but to be able to illustrate it to you that once you turn the center of the building then let the break off it then rotates and so do the it's quite nice to have that as a surprise though as well isn't it yeah once it's a very it. unusual one and uh, as i say it is more complicated than some of the others uh -huh. we've got here but uh, you know, when you've when you've built this, yeah. you'll be something of a maestro when it comes. You're going to gonna be. Years. You're bound to be. Details uh, side of the screen. We've also got the treasure box details bottom of the screen. You've been loving that. Seventy percent's gone. Oh my goodness, you're loving this one. I've got to say, massive thanks to John. It's been an absolute pleasure, sir. Yeah, Thank loved you it. very much. I'll see you very soon, I'm sure. Thanks to your home as always. We'll see you after this. <laughs> So we've got I Love Mixed Media after eight. Looking forward to this. But I'll be joining Sandra about an hour's time with Colour, Craft and Journal. And I have got the brand new One Day Special. It's Six Penny Memories at six o'clock. But don't go there. Have a cup of tea. We'll see you after this. Welcome to the newest exciting way to shop here at Hochanda, Craft Price Drop. Tune in for your favourite craft brands at absolutely incredible low prices. Make sure to get in early before the quantity reaches zero and the price locks. You've got to be in it to win it. Everybody pays the lowest price. Hi, I'm Dawn Bibby. 
I have been crafting now on television for over 25 years. I love crafting, paper crafting is one of my greatest loves, although my background is textiles and fashion. I love to bring you the very best products and inspire you with what I do, hopefully that you'll be crafting at home. Joining forces with Craft Buddy has opened up a whole warehouse and a wealth of products that are fantastic. So I use the knowledge that I have to get the very best products for you by working with Craft Buddy to source new products, to design new products, and also walk around their fabulous warehouse putting together kits that are really going to help you with your crafting. Make sure you don't miss myself and the Craft Buddy shows on Hachanda. Fabric Stabilizer creates firmer fabric, making it easy to handle and is also perfect for die cutting projects. Fabric Shield is a powerful fine mist fabric protector which protects from dirt, oil and even repels water and also helps keep fabric soft without altering the colouring. To add these to your sewing kit or to stock up, please check out at hochanda.com.